Hello and welcome back to Angela Mutabi Art. Today I'll be showing you how I painted these beautiful flowers. Uh, the paints I'm going to use today are, I have crimson red and lemon yellow. And then I will be using um, phthalo blue and dioxazine purple. I will also use some green for leaves later and artist loved white. I will be using various uh, brush sizes, but mostly a round brush. And my canvas size is 11 by 14. So guys, let's get started. For those who have been following me, those who have been watching my videos, you know I have been enjoying painting flowers lately. And uh, I want to continue with you know especially now because uh it's it's spring and um i just want to paint nature i love painting nature landscapes flowers you know you name it i love all that i also want to incorporate some abstract landscapes so in the next couple couple of videos um I'm planning on bringing you guys some abstract landscape. Um, I used to um, paint a lot of landscapes, but um, um, I mean, you know, flowers is nature. I uh, as as long as it's, I think, I think nature is really my uh, aesthetic. And as an artist, we all really need to have our styles like. Um, painting style and I've been trying to brush up on my painting and uh, painting style and really because I've been just painting a lot of different things um, flowers I've been painting with acrylics mostly acrylics I've been using palette knives I've been using um, different house, household um, items but I really really want a brush up on uh, in other words I want to build my portfolio so that way I can show my style and my my story and because I, everybody has a story and everything that they do I mean if you're an artist, there's a story that you're trying to convey, a story that you're trying to tell um, why you paint, you paint it the way you paint, what is the story behind it. Um, yeah, so I've been working on that lately and um, I need, I'm going to start my portfolio probably about 25 or 30 paintings and then really you know uh, my portfolio should it should really have the same color palette the, the style it will be is the same it's really what makes you stand out because i mean we can all paint but we cannot paint just every everything anything and everything you have to come up with a style and it's just stick to your style and that is what your followers or your collectors if you're in that stage your collectors will be looking for they won't just buy any and everything that you paint because they like to buy from you because of your style and your story and your voice so that is what i'm uh, starting to do this summer I am going to be posting some of those videos on my on this channel so you guys can uh, just follow along and yeah so that's my little spiel what I'm gonna be doing because I want to visit a lot of different galleries and different art shows and stuff like that and you have to have a f portfolio you have to like show what you do and and you know talk to different people about it and without a portfolio without a consistent uh style then you can't really just show everything 
But you know, it is good because all this experience I've had, I've been painting close to three years now. And all this, uh, I took a break for almost a year anyway. Uh, so I've been painting for about two and a half years. You know, it's an experience and you have, you have to try everything. You have to try, you don't have to, but I, I think it's better that you try different styles, just uh, different paint consistencies, just so you can decide or you can really feel where your heart is because you can't just say okay I'm gonna paint landscapes and that's it you'll never try anything else that's not gonna work you have to use oils use acrylics use watercolors use all kinds of stuff and I've used all those and in two years I think I've really narrowed it down to what I really, really like to do and what style interests me and I can paint in that style for a long, long time and and I, I, and I just love it. I can paint every single day and uh, so to get to that point, you have to do a lot, a lot of different things. You have to use charcoal, you have to use uh, pencils. Uh, Posca pens, whatever, different colors on different brands. Just, just to find out which one works for you. And as you know, in my uh, on this channel, yeah, I mean, I have close to three hundred uh, videos, and each one of them is unique and different. And but they all have one common um, theme. And that is my style and the way I hold my brush. In the beginning, I really didn't use any brushes. I used the uh, the flow acrylic to uh, to do my pores. But I, like I said, I like um, landscapes and doing flow ac acrylic. Really, you don't control your paint. You don't control how the the paint moves and you know and what shapes it makes to me that was not painting because i mean you're not really painting you're pouring your paint on the canvas and moving it around um i mean don't get me wrong they we do those uh, that style that uh, technique those techniques make beautiful paintings but I need a challenge. I just, you know, I need to paint. I need to paint, not to pour. But anyway, so not to say that that is not painting, but I mean, not um, uh, another way of art, but I don't know. I just feel like painting is take a brush I must, I might be, you know, maybe I'm old school, but painting to me is take a brush, use your imagination, you know, um, show your emotions on the canvas. Pouring and moving around paint does not show emotions and it does not tell a story. And that to me, and that's how I feel about it. I thought I, you know, I thought I share that with you guys because it's important. If you're an artist and you try to to sell your art out there, you try to um, uh, you try to really have your voice. Uh, you need to you need to have your own style, and the only way you can really show that is is by really painting a lot a lot and using different uh, mediums and styles and then you will eventually find your style okay
how beautiful this turned out guys I went ahead and put it on um, in a frame and I think it looks really really nice and this will be nice in I don't know, kitchen, living room, bedroom, bathroom, anywhere really. It looks really nice. Well, I put it in, in I'm taking this in uh, my bathroom and it just looks really nice there. I also put it in the uh, kitchen wall and it looked nice there. Living room, it might be a little too small for a living room. It's 11 by 14. And uh, I mean, you can put it really anywhere. Above the couch or I don't know. But it's beautiful, guys. It's really, really nice. Okay, tell me what you think. Leave a comment on the comment section below. And let me know. Subscribe like share and hit the um, notification bell so I you will be notified when I upload videos thanks guys bye